I'm Kira. Hey, I'm Butch, uh, creator of Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom, Tough Puppy, and Bunsen is a Beast on Nickelodeon. And today, we're drawing Studio Ghibli characters from memory. And be sure to stick around at the end of the video to find out how you can enter for a chance to win this Wacom Intuos tablet, courtesy of our good friends at Wacom. Wow, you can explore new ways to get creative. There's two free creative software downloads and pistachios. It doesn't come with pistachios. It comes with it's, pistachios. The color is pistachio. No, I think it comes with pistachios. No, it How doesn't. nice of them. Everyone's gonna get mad at me. I've only seen a limited number of Miyazaki films. I, I appreciate what he's done what I, uh, tremendously, but the drawing things from memory is gonna be a little tricky for me. I love some more recent anime, like uh, One Punch Man and stuff like yeah. that. I also love older anime, like Speed Racer. Oh, you know who I really don't wanna get, though? That mm -hmm. witch from Spirited Away, who has like a thousand wrinkles on her face. Yeah, I wanna get her, oh, actually. You do? Oh, my oh, God. Okay. Yeah, she's the only one who's not like an innocent looking. Yeah. Your character is Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. Oh my god, I love Kiki's Delivery Service! Really? I haven't seen this film since it came out in the US. When so, was that? Like, 90s? Ew. Yeah. So... Kevin's old. Kevin's old. Will you start drawing, Kevin's please? Kevin's... character is... Totoro. Oh, okay. oh, wait, no. This one's, <laughs> this one's easier. Do you think it's easy? He's like a bunch of triangles. <laughs> He's triangles? Baba from... Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. She's the old lady. She's an old lady. Yeah, she's like a big, giant old lady. Huge head. Like, kind of the, uh, like a bob. Like a samurai like a thing? Yeah. I remember seeing this movie. It's one of those movies where you hear that it's, like, a classic and it's amazing. Yeah. And you watch it and it's like, oh, my God. Like, it's a classic and it's amazing, you know? Yeah. Jackie, I'm nervous for this because, as you know, I do not draw in an anime style. You really don't. The question is, do I actually attempt to draw in an anime style, or do I do my own thing? I think you should do your own thing. I feel like if you try to do it anime, it might not turn out the best heaven way. If there's one thing the comments have told me, Jackie, is that when I draw in my own way, mm -hmm. it ends up looking like me. From what I remember of her, mm -hmm. she's kind of like, she looks like an ogre almost. She's like a troll. Really? <laughs> it sounds so mean. Super wrinkly, super detailed. Uh, every time I watched it, I was kind of like amazed that they had to redraw her. I sat that many times. That many times. It looks so hard. I have never seen this character. I'm being very honest with you. I'm just kind of making up an old lady. <laughs> What's like the animal he's closest to? Is it like a, a teddy bear? Like not even a like animal, a raccoon. Right? He's got whiskers. Yeah. Oh, thanks for telling me that, because I didn't know that. Does he have teeth at all? Yes, yeah. Yeah, like when he opens his mouth to do that, he's got like a full set of like human teeth. I don't know if you can see Kiki in your mind, but her outfit is very simple. It's just, she's just wearing a dress, right? Yeah, it's, it's just, just a, like dress, a and, dress, and she has like props that you know. Right, she yeah. has a broom. Yeah. And, oh, she has like a big bow on her. Yeah, head. big yes. bow. Yes, got Ooh, it. Yes, big okay. bow. Yep. That's for all the people who say, I never help Kevin. I help Kevin all the time. I help him cross the street. I help him get some sugar from his neighbors. I don't know what else old people do. You do help me, Jackie. Aww. What is Yubaba wearing? What does she wear? Like a she, kimono thing? She's wearing like, um, it's kind of like one of those long old lady dresses where it's like long sleeves, it's blue. I have a ton of those at my house. No, <laughs> oh my God. What's your favorite Studio Ghibli uh, film? I honestly really love Spirited Away. Really? Yeah, but also, uh, hmm, I really like Howl's Moving Castle, too. My favorite Ghibli movie is Princess Mononoke. Yes. Um, Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind, Ooh, which I think was very movie. underrated. Yeah, so what's your favorite Studio Ghibli film? Am I saying it right? Is it Ghibli or Ghibli? Um, I don't really know. I, I say Studio Ghibli. I say Ghibli. I think you're valid, Okay. but I'm probably right. My favorite Ghibli movie is probably Spirited Away. I agree. I love that movie. Hold it near and dear to my heart. Close second though, mm -hmm. Porco Rosso. Really? Does she have a, a stick or a weapon of any kind or a... Uh... I don't think so. She has a lot of rings on her fingers though. She does? Yeah. Okay. He holds like an umbrella. Am I right? Oh, yeah. That's a super iconic scene. The one where they're waiting for the cat bus. Oh, they're waiting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't have them waiting for anything. 
<laughs> Does he have like a big tail? See, I don't know. I do, I'm thinking like, he has like a tail, but like every tail I give him doesn't look right. I gave him like a, a like a bunny tail. Here's what I love about Studio Ghibli movies. Mm -hmm. Not everything is explained. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes just like weird things happen and they never explain it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know what? I like that. Yeah. Who needs the explanation? Yeah. I feel if, if I feel like explaining everything is a very Western form of storytelling. That's very true, Kevin. I think about this a lot when Do it you? comes to storytelling. Are you patronizing me right no, now? No, I'm not. I'm. This is being for reals. Because I think a lot of people's criticisms against anime movies is that there's no ending. Right. But it doesn't have to have an ending. Right, because it, life doesn't have an ending. Unless you die. Yeah, I love the feel of this tablet, though. This is really cool. Yeah, they're really nice. I don't know what they did to, like, the glass on top, but it feels a lot more premium than, like, other tablets I've drawn on. It's got, like, a texture to it. It feels like you're kind of drawing on a more, like, natural surface, like paper. Remember the first time I discovered I could make a gradient on the background? Oh, yeah. My life changed that day. He's gray, right? No, he's brown, right? Totoro is not, he's got to be gray. Is he like brownish gray? <laughs> oh my God, what's happening? I was like now so just, confident and now I don't know. Now you just <laughs> with me. <laughs> no, I swear to God, Jason, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm gonna hope that she has blue eyes. What? Okay, I think it got his color. I think it's like a brown gray. Brown gray? Yeah. I'm almost done, just give me like three more seconds. Or like 30 more seconds. Three, uh, two, uh, one. Did you just dab? Yeah. <laughs> Who dabs anymore? I dab. I'm as done as I'll ever be. I think if I did not put those arrows on his chest, you wouldn't know it was really? Totoro. <laughs> that was it? Is it, that all Totoro is, is some arrows on his chest? It's arrows on his chest and uh, the umbrella. Okay, that's, that's about all I can do. I think, again, like I always say, I think I got the gist of them down, but I definitely missed the mark. <laughs> How do you think you did? I think I did okay, you know. Well, I think it's cute. I think for a quick sketch, it's pretty good. I thought I did terribly. Oh. And I want to apologize for all of you Ghibli fans out there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but Kevin is tearing up right now. He's really about to cry. <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, you were right. He's great. I think he's yeah, right. Yeah. Like, I think you're right. <laughs> Man, he's got a good grill. Very good, very good teeth. Yeah, you're, I mean, talking about teeth, your teeth in here are very good. Yeah, I want to see what our tail situation is. Yeah. You gave him like a rabbit tail. I did. I you gave him like a raccoon, raccoon tail. Thing. Yeah. What? It's fine. Yours is great. Yours is fine. Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> You really, you, I was expecting like the world's worst drawing from the way you said it. Like you drew like a scribble. What the heck? That's what she looks like. This is incredible. I she wish looked she looked like this. No, you're very kind. This oh is beautiful. You did a nice job. What are she you? looks like this? Gosh, she, I should have. But help if I watch the movie. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's, he's gray. Yeah, he's gray. I think, if I'm gonna say so, you got, I mean, you put whiskers on him too. I think your character exists in his world, though. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Okay, but we both got, like, different parts of him, right? Yeah. So you got his tail, because he's got, like, a stubby tail. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, this is so wrong. See, accessories, I couldn't, re I remember the rings. I couldn't remember this jewel. You said bun on her head, and she's got, like, a, like a, like a dumpling on her head. She, yeah. It's a giant <laughs> dumpling. That's what that is. I think I got the uh, the eyeshadow. A you little got that close. right. Yeah. Yeah. I just drew a person. Nice. Oh, you know what? We both forgot our big orange bag. We sure did. Yeah. She. It's the delivery service. So, what does yeah. she keep the things in? She's big delivering bag. stuff, and you know what? Ours aren't delivering jack. Yep. I think both of us drew her hair a little too long. I think so. I mm -hmm. think it's much shorter than I remember. I do I do remember her radio. I just didn't have time to draw it in because really? she listens to that radio right. on her broom. Yeah. 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 yeah, on the way. Back when Spotify didn't exist. <laughs> now that I've seen the character, and every time, I do this every time, every time I attempt to draw an anime type character, it always ends up more in my style than the anime style. So I've just got to keep things in mind about anime. For example, the shadows on the face. 
There's oh, yeah. tons of highlights, shadows, uh, very, anime characters are extremely detailed. I was always gotta remember that. You so. made a great character design, be proud of yourself. <laughs> very kind of you. So to enter for a chance to win this Wacom Intuos tablet, all you have to do is go to the BuzzFeed Comics Instagram account, which is at comics, look for this post, and follow the instructions in the description. Best of luck to you. Comes with pistachios. You know what she listens to on her Spotify? Kiki, do you love me? Ew, Are we riding? Uh, yeah, stop. come on, Jackie. No. Hey, I'm Butch Hartman, creator of The Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom and a bunch of other Nickelodeon shows. Hey, I'm Kira. And today we are going to be drawing Oh, you don't know, dude. Do I don't know. What are we doing? So today we're going to be drawing SpongeBob memes. No, what? From memory. SpongeBob does not cross my Facebook feed. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're going to have a tough time. <laughs> <laughs> But first, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can enter for a chance to win this Wacom Intuos tablet. Waka waka waka. For all of your digital drawing needs. Waka waka waka. I know how to draw SpongeBob characters, but the memes, I, I again, you know, gotta make sure I. There's like, there's like a million of them, a million memes. Yeah, there are. I know. I know. I tried to do research, yeah. <laughs> but it was hard. Yeah, you know what meme actually means? It means Butch Hartman can't draw this. That's what that means. <laughs> Right. Oh no, I don't know which one that one is. Is that the one where he's just like... He's just like... Open mouth? Uh-huh. All right. Handsome Squidward. Yes. Handsome Squidward. Okay. Sponge God. Okay, this is the one I'm pretty sure I can do. What is he I doing? I talked about it in an older episode. Word. Okay, you explain this to me. He's a huge must. I know Squidward. Mind you, Bob. He's beautiful. You? He's like what he wishes he could be. Got it. <laughs> Let me break it down for you. So he's like a caveman SpongeBob. He's got like ape face. Right. Okay. Ape face. Ape face. face. Yes. Okay. He's got like a little loincloth. 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 And he's like shocked. So he's like. Wow. It's like that. He's got like his mouth kind of off to the side, and he's like, "Okay, I think you got it. Maybe. Do I? Do you want me to stand here the whole time and like pose for you?" <laughs> he looks like a man more than a octopus. What was Squidward's face? Do you have Squidward's face? Sort of. Sort. He's got like he's like a man wearing a Squidward like body paint. Almost. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, okay. He's I think very I got this. handsome. I think I think I got this. He said, not having it at all. One thing very distinct about Handsome Squidward, he has squinted closed eyes and very pursed lips. Mm, like a, like the uh, like the smolder. Yes. Have you actually seen this meme before? I, I think I know what it is. Right, I've seen it before and I don't really pay attention to memes. So this is a universal meme. I would say it is. So it's a smaller nose. Yeah, same nose but smaller. Same nose but smaller. He's handsome Squidward. How many fingers does SpongeBob have again? Four. four? Okay. I think he's a four-fingered cartoon. I wonder why SpongeBob is the thing that gets memefied so much. I mean, they're very funny drawings. But there's like so much, so many episodes, right? Yeah. There's like so much to pull from. Yeah, I guess. there's a lot to draw on. I guess. What is he? What is he looking at when he's doing this? He's kind of just like staring off into the void. Into the void. Jason, I am here for you. <laughs> for whatever you need, I will be your meme spirit guide. I don't know how big his eyes are. Yeah, I just... Because when you're drawing people surprised, they either have really big eyes or really small eyes. I'm like a little, like, it doesn't quite look like what I'm imagining. You know what, kids? If someone ever tells you memes are easy, you tell them, well, Jackie said, they're not. Memes are hard. Memes are really hard, actually. You know what, I think I, I drew something. I drew like a surfing high SpongeBob. Right. The surfing high sponge. You know what? Actually looking at mine, I think that is kind of what he is. Butch, while you were at Nickelodeon, did you get to meet or hang out with any of the SpongeBob crew? Absolutely. Met them, of course, and then worked around them every day. The environment in those days was very interesting because we all knew each other, we saw each other, but everybody was so focused on making their shows all day, we were kind of just in our little nest doing our work. But occasionally they have, you know, they have office parties and get togethers and events and things, we'd see each other. They were the nicest guys. You know, Vince Waller is a very good friend of mine, a very sweet guy mm -hmm. and a super talented artist. Steve Hillenberg, I knew him pretty good. Didn't know him as well as I wanted to. He was a very quiet guy, but the nicest guy in the world. I knew him for like, yeah, about 20 years. Mine's going good so far. I made the mouth a little bigger because you made me really? second guess. Really? I'm going huge with the mouth. I just, I feel like- Because I feel like that's the whole me. 
team is just like it's how just surprised his mouth. he is. Yeah. He's very surprised. I may have screwed up his feet. How could you do that? I think I may have given him more feet than he actually has. What does that mean? What? How did you do did that? Did you say, what does that mean? No, 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 no. Does he have like armpit hair? Yes. No, I don't know. Yeah, you okay. should give it. Like, I love these details you're adding, though, and I think you should go for it. Does he have, like, pimples? Well, no, because he's already got holes. Oh, true, true. I'm not deleting that. Yeah. Some ships have sailed already. Strong and wrong, Jason. Strong and wrong. <laughs> Let me ask you this, have you watched my YouTube channel? I have not, I need to. What is it? It has a super creative name, are you ready? Yes. It's called Butch Hartman. Fantastic. Oh, I do a lot of stuff about artwork and cartoons, just entertainment based, like, you know, if a new Marvel movie comes out, I'll draw like Marvel characters in the Fairly Odd Parents style. I did a bunch of Danny Phantom 10 years later videos because Danny Phantom is a very popular character. That's awesome. People love seeing artists, you know, really explain their process and communicate with people. I actually really like what I'm drawing. That's what's important. This could be the birth of a new SpongeBob meme. That would be dope. How many toes does he have? I gave him like three. Does he have like hair on the top of his feet? You know how like some people I'm gonna people give have... him hair on the top of his feet. I don't think he does, but I think he'd look cute with hair on his feet. It's funny, I, now when I think of Patrick, I see your drawing Aww. from our last draw off in my head. I'm everywhere. <laughs> This is like extra super challenging though. Cause not only do you have to draw this character, you have to draw him in a very specific pose. Yeah. How are you doing, Kevin? I'm almost done. You're almost done? How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm like, just, I'm nitpicking now. Are basically. you? I'm just adding some shading on here now. I'm not quite busy. sure I uh, got this one wrong too, but oh well. He does look like he's like tripping balls though. Yeah, okay, good. You know what? I think you'll capture the spirit of him. Yeah. If nothing else. All right. You good? I am done. All right. Let's stop. I'm all set. Yeah. I think I did all right. I mean, the expression isn't like exactly right. Jason, how do you think you did? <gasps> you know, I think I followed directions. I did not get ape face. Yeah. Because I was trying to draw SpongeBob yeah. first. So maybe this is actually a test on my teaching ability <laughs> and my ability <laughs> to explain. Well, I, I drew something that looks like a Squidward type of character. Could be related to him. I want to see what she thinks. She's the judge, so I leave it up to you. You'll capable. be the judge of mine. All right, how do you think you did? I have no idea. I feel like I'm remembering something different, but you know, I think it's funny. Maybe this can be the new meme. I think I did okay. I think it's surprising that I remember this meme better than you do. It's, I think it's surprising as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do it. Let's switcheroo. Ah, I understand the excess of feet now. Right. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is really good. Okay, I like that. Now I, I think I have seen this, yes. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this looks like SpongeBob meets Homer Simpson. Oh man, maybe yeah. that was the description. I think less than an excess of feet, it feels like you gave him shoes. I gave him the wrong feet. You gave him did. wrong feet. You didn't yeah. give him too many feet. His feet are just He's, nubs. They're just nubs. He's yeah. a starfish, he don't got feet. Yeah. His lips. They're perfect. I love them. <laughs> he kind of looks like an actor, but I can't really place who. So you gave him walleyes. Yeah, I don't know. I thought the walleyes felt right yeah. in my brain. And you also gave him small eyes. Yeah. You gave him small eyes and walleyes. Walleyes, small eyes. Am I right, ladies? Yep. The, the. Once again, Butch Hartman. Reality hits Butch Hartman in the face. Oh, I did. Oh, well, okay. What's the neck up there? You we got go. it close. Yours is like That's really close. Much. You know what this looks like? In the Twilight Zone years ago, the show To Serve Man looks like the alien from To Serve Man. No he one knows does. what I'm talking about. That's what that is. Oh boy. Uh oh. Yeah. Wow, you drew What's the exact up? thing. What's up? Wow. What's up? Wow. The only thing you didn't do is the teeth are like. Oh it. no. Oh yeah. He's got like tusk teeth. This is spot on. Brent, what about Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Printer paper. I think you did better than I did. Really? Yeah, I think, I think. I think if we combined our drawings, they would be perfect. Right. His yeah. mouth is not. Not as big. Not as big. I, I, thought, I led you astray, Jackie. You I'm led sorry. me astray I'm after sorry. all the help I gave you I'm in the so other sorry. episodes. I just, the thing that I remember most about the meme is that his his mouth is agape and huge. It is, it is huge. You know what? I did like, I did add the thing, the, is that the 
the uvula. The, the little dangly. The dangly wangly yeah. in the back of the mouthy wouthy. It's the best Patrick you've drawn. Thank you. You've only drawn two, and <laughs> this one takes the cake. Thank you. Mm. This is also an excellent Patrick. Once again, not super accurate, but very Jackie. Okay, giveaway time. If you want to enter for a chance to win this Wacom Intuos tablet, all you have to do is go to the BuzzFeed Comics Instagram. That's at comics on Instagram and find this post and follow the instructions in the description. Best of luck to you. Digital painting, photo editing, comic and manga. You don't have to be accurate with everything in life. That's if literally you, what we're doing on this show. If you throw a potato at someone and mm -hmm. you miss their head, but you hit their chest, it's still gonna really hurt them, so. Where do you get these metaphors? Hey, I'm Kira. Hey, I'm Butch Hartman. I've created some shows on Nickelodeon that are animated. What are we doing today? Today, we are drawing Nicktoons. From? This will be fun because I don't know what era of Nicktoons. Yeah. yeah, 2000s era, 90s era. If we were in the 90s, modern era. I have a chance. But first, be sure to stick around till the end of the video to find out how you can enter for a chance to win this Wacom Intuos tablet. Exper Experiment votre creativité de manière innovante. Jackie will not be their new spokesperson. Bonjour. Are you ready, Jackie? I'm ready. Are you Are you good with the Nicktoons? I did watch my Nicktoons, you know? Okay. I watched a lot more of it the older I got. Your character today is Doug. Ooh. Doug Funny. Now, Doug, I've seen, I've actually seen Doug. Stimpy from Ren and Stimpy. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Ren was the chihuahua, Stimpy was the cat, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, wait. Ren, no, Ren's the cat, Stimpy's the chihuahua. I think Stimpy, hold on, wh which one are we drawing again? Dang it. We're drawing Ren, or st we're drawing Stimpy. Wanda, there we go. Wanda. Okay. Oh, Wanda. Wait, pressure's on. Because as you know, Butch Hartman is here to ridicule and mock us for our drawings. So we better be good. So we better be good. Stimpy was the cat. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Stimpy was the cat. Okay, so he's just like a big round thing, and he's red, right? Yeah. Isn't he wearing gloves? Am I wrong? I don't know. Uh, yes, I think he is. Here's the thing about Ren and Stimpy too. So they actually go off model a lot. Yes. So there's not really like one very like canonical like form that they take. Okay. So this is not a style that I usually draw in. It's very angular. It's very much in the UPA style. What's UPA? UPA stands for uh, Universal Productions of America. They were a popular production company in the 50s and 60s, responsible for a lot of kind of angular styles that you see in like Dexter's Laboratory mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I see. What do you think your biggest inspiration was? I think it changed a lot. I think like as a kid, I really loved, you know, like Pokemon, Digimon, that sort of cute anime style. Mm -hmm. And then uh, got more into cartoons and I got more into like the UPA Hanna-Barbera thick right. outline style. Oh my God, I feel like a child again drawing this. Yeah, like just struggling to draw like your favorite characters. Don't forget the fairy uh, related items, okay? Yeah, I remember, she, I mean, obviously she has wings. Mm-hmm. What Come else? Come on, there's another thing, you can't forget it. What is it? They always have it. Oh, I mean, they're wands. There's another thing, Kevin. Oh my God, what? Figure it out! Why? Yeah, are you 10, doing... 9, 8, what? 7, what? 6, what? 5, 4, 3, I literally two, don't know! One. They're crowns. Oh, crowns. <laughs> okay. I freaked him out. You did freak me out. <laughs> I would have forgotten the crown. Thank you for telling You're me. You're welcome. What is the origin story behind Fairly Odd Parents? Thank you for asking. I was at Cartoon Network at the time. I was working on the Johnny Bravo show. Ooh. And uh, that show was about to end and I was going to lose my job. And, uh, you know, you have to pay the bills. And it's like, well, I need a job. And I was tired of working for other people. And so finally I said, I'm going to make my own show. So I, I literally sat down and I thought, well, if I was going to make a show of anything, what would I make? And I thought, well, I'll make a show about a little boy. We always write or draw what we know, right? I drew this little kid. I decided to call him Timmy because I've got a brother named Timmy. Aww. I also have a brother named Mike. I was going to name him after my brother Mike, but we had a fight that day. Oh, so, oh you lost your chance, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mike's a great guy, but uh, anyway. I came up with the show with Timmy, and I was like, what can I do with him, though? I thought, wait, it'd be cool to give him like a, a way to get around quickly. I thought I could teleport him, like, you know, science stuff. But I couldn't do science stuff because Dexter's lab was already out. And so I decided, well, I could use, I could make magic. So I thought, well, 
I can give the kid magic powers or I can give him a magic friend. So I gave him uh, Wanda. I drew Wanda first. I thought, okay, he's got a magic fairy godmother like Cinderella. Like, oh, that boy's version of Cinderella. That'll be fun. I've never seen a fairy godfather before, so I drew Cosmo. Now, all of this took about 15 minutes. <laughs> really? I was like, da 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 That's kind of cool. Yeah, it just kind of went from there. Oh, this is a sad... A sad day for Jason and Brent's draw off career. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I really captured his personality much. Like, this is like some mischievous gremlin. You know what? I don't know Wanda's colors. You don't know Cosmo and Wanda's colors. They're very. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I know that Wanda is a redhead. Ooh. Right? A redhead? Right? Oh, <laughs> this episode's going downhill. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, you have to tell me. Am I right? Is she a redhead? What? Is she a redhead? <laughs> you know what? I'm making her a redhead. I'm committing to it. All right, Kira, how you doing over there? Think pretty good. Trying to remember his outfit. You know, as much as I'm struggling, I think this looks like him. Oh, okay. I think you could look at this and go, oh yeah, that's <laughs> Stimpy. I, <laughs> I think exactly what that inflection is what someone would say if they saw this yeah. like, out of context. Like, like oh, that's, that's Stimpy. Stimpy. I love how big these new monitors are because it gives me so much space. These monitors make me feel like a king. It makes me feel like I'm drawing for the queen. Oh no, this doesn't look right. Oh, I thought I was doing well, and now just at the end, I'm stumbling. The what color, I I'm screwing up the color. <laughs> Jackie, help me. Well, all right, all right, all right. What okay. are you doing wrong? Is she a redhead? No, Kevin, what she's is she? not a redhead. Cosmo is green. What looks good with green? Red. Orange. Jackie, help me. Go down the color line, come on. Pink? Yeah. She has pink hair. Yes. Big mine's as done as I'll ever want it to be. Okay, I'm done, I think. I can't, I can't possibly put any more Doug in here. And I am putting my pen down. All right, Jackie, how'd you do? I don't think it looks on model mm -hmm. as much as I wanted it to. I thought I could do better than this, honestly, but still, I think it's not too far off. I think I did okay. I think, I, I mean, this is a close representation of Doug. It's like Doug's cousin. If I had to grade my performance today, I would say solid C minus. <laughs> Not employable at Nickelodeon at this time. If I were to grade my performance, I'd give it a, a D. Oh man, you're more harsh grader. Yeah. I, guess, I don't know why I thought I passed. I think I'm a D too. I think I stumbled with color, but I think I got the general construction. I think I got the face okay. We'll see. Okay, I'm ready. Switchy time. Let's switchy. Hey. hey! 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 Nice. Oh yeah, he's gonna go watch Fairly Up. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch Fairly Up. That's really wow. good. I like his pose. Thank you. Really I love cute. Yours I love is yours closer. Pose. He, has yours? Brown, he has brown pants, doesn't he? Oh wait. Okay, you like got him. This is basically him, right? This is so far off. <laughs> <laughs> but I love whoever this is. I love yours. Oh, thanks. It's exactly what you said. It's not on model, mm -hmm. but it is very cute. I like yours. I like that your wand isn't even complete. Like you thought it was like a magician's wand. Right. It's always like sparkly at the end. It's got a star though. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It looks like Wanda. It's just the little things that are wrong. This Stimpy is a great addition to the draw off, off brand character universe. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very nice drawing. Thank you. Same. Your art style. Who, your art style is very, <laughs> it's like Ed, Ed and Eddie almost. Like you have that, that I shaky, love that, that show. That shaky Oops. line, that, that shaky like, yet purposeful line is what I mean. Really cool. Oh man! Oh wow, yeah, yours is so far off, I love it. You know what? I got the hairs on the top of his head. You did? Okay, yeah, yeah you got the rest of it. Dang! Right. He has no toes though. Dang, and he doesn't. Man, I got him way off. You got the time. shoe color correct. <laughs> okay, <Dang, laughs> the shoe you color. Did. Yeah, yours oh. is almost dead on, that's really good. I know I got the, the pants color wrong, my face shape is different, my nose is shape is the wrong, your nose is down like Doug's nose. I think, you know what, that's probably the one I got the, the most wrong. Well, very cool, nice working with you. You too. You're very charming you. and I wish you nothing but the best in all that you do. Thank you, see? <laughs> well, thank you. Word in the street out here in the BuzzFeed world is that Jackie and Kevin are drawing my characters. And so if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get over there and see what's going on. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. Hey, how do I get out of here? Okay, kids, giveaway time. If you want to enter for a chance to win this Wacom Intuos tablet, all you have to do is go to the BuzzFeed Comics Instagram. That's at comics on Instagram. Find this post and follow the instructions in the caption. Best of luck to you. Oh, oh it's his... Hartman! 
on his chair of justice. How huh? are you? I'm doing well. You're drawing pictures. This is Kevin's picture. This is Kevin. This is mine. This is Jack. Can I go over and see hers? Yeah, you can sure. see mine. Go ahead. Here, wait, let me see this one. These are very cute. Here, let me show you what the real Wanda looks like. And All you right. guys be the judge. Go, there's Wanda. Oh. All right. What do you think? Well, you know, we got the, we got the hair swirl, right? Mm -hmm. She put highlights in the eyes, though. She gave us a little Walt Disney going it's on. It's very there. Jackie. Now Kevin has got a real uh, this. What is this style I'm seeing? This is very Sanjay and Craig. Oh. Okay. Have you seen Sanjay and Craig mm -hmm. a little I have. bit? It's cool to see another style. So do you guys? Did you ever draw Fairly Odd Parents before? This is literally my first time drawing. Drawing anything? No, drawing, drawing Fairly anything. Odd Parents. Oh, drawing Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> yeah. okay. So Butch, while you're here, can you tell us a little bit about the design style for the Fairly Odd Parents? Because yeah. we were saying before that it's very kind of UPA inspired. When I first did this at uh, Nickelodeon. I thought, well, I'll just do something I've never done before. So I'll be honest with you, I sort of based it a little bit on John Chris Felucci style a little bit. But as the show went on, I sort of created a language, like all the characters have the same shaped head. I love that design style of like, yeah, UPA, Hanna-Barbera back in the 60s. If you look at Wanda's hair, it's like Wilma Flintstone. Wilma Flintstone. Yeah. Exactly. And mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, everything comes from somewhere. Well, thank you for uh, critiquing our drawings, Butch. Yes. We greatly appreciate it. Yes. You're welcome. I will magically disappear out of here. Here I go. Oh, oh careful. Oh, I smell. No, oh. no, 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 it's fine. He didn't almost hit anything. Hey, I'm Kira, lead animator on The Good Advice Cupcake. Hi, I'm Mike, character animator on The Simpsons. And today, we are going to be drawing Simpsons characters. From memory. Oh. Oh. What is that? I'm, I'm just getting pumped. I feel like this isn't fair. You work on The Simpsons. You're going to make me look like a chub. I can draw it bad. <laughs> Your character is Sexy Flanders. Uh. So glad because I actually know who that is. <laughs> Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> Principal Skinner. Oh, okay. He's like kind of one of the more normal looking dudes, isn't he? Yeah, I feel like he has like a weird like shark fin <laughs> for a hairdo. <laughs> you guys are drawing Homer Simpson. That's the main guy. The main That's guy. That's the guy that they based the Simpsons off of. And we better watch ourselves because we have an animator from The Simpsons here drawing with Kira. <gasps> He's gonna look at our drawings? Yep. He's gonna cruelly and unjustly judge us. His Instagram handle is I Draw Homer. So Mike, you've been working on The Simpsons since 2004. How did yeah. you get that job? I was actually an intern after high school. I just did, you know, a lot of the intern style work, but slowly and slowly I moved my way up to, you know, begging artists for tips and like, Maybe I could do a drawing in one of their scenes here and there. And I was just like practicing and practicing until one day I took the character animation test and I passed it. That's so cool. I didn't grow up watching The Simpsons. You didn't? No. I feel like everybody grew up watching The Simpsons. I kind of, I have vague memories of The Simpsons just being on TV everywhere. Okay. So like I'm in the laundromat waiting for stuff to be mm -hmm. clean. Yeah. And I remember watching some Simpsons. But I never actually watched it myself. Really? Yeah. Let's see if I can just manage doing the Simpsons style. That's another thing, I don't draw like that most of the time. I feel like most of my stuff has like a lot of volume and construction to it, whereas they are sort of, they exist very much in a 2D plane. Uh, Do you think you're more volumetric than the Simpsons? Uh, well, I guess their specific kind of volume, volumetrism. Oh, this is, uh, this is close enough, but it's not great. You're scared of the, the I love drawing Homer? I am scared of Mike's critique, I'm not gonna lie. You're afraid of the animator's Well, I mean, because he draws, he draws Homer for a living. Like, that's what he does. But you know what we do for a living? What? We are wrong for a living <laughs> we are, on the internet. We draw incorrectly for a living yeah. on the internet. We draw other people's characters wrong so that people can laugh at us. Mm -hmm. So honestly. So honestly, we're doing our job right we're now. We're doing our job if, yeah. we, if it's wrong, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but we're really sorry that we're, we're really doing sorry. We're really sorry. I mean, we're trying, trying our best. We're really it's just trying. Like, we're uh, trying our geez. best. And the meme is hamburgers? Steamed hams. Oh, they're just, they're hams, not hamburgers. It's hamburgers, but he's like upselling it as steamed hams because he has like his boss over for dinner. Oh, oh, okay. And so like his meal goes to, and so he like runs across the street to get hamburgers and yeah. is like, oh, enjoy these gourmet steamed hams. <laughs> So as an animator on The Simpsons, what's your like your day-to-day -day routine look like? So we have scenes that we get from the board artists and you know they set up the shot, they set up the composition. Our job is to go in and add all the acting and we get the uh, audio track from the voice actors and then we kind of go from there. I think we're like the last one that actually does all that stuff. Everything else is like boards. 
Here's a fun fact about Homer's design that I do know. There is a hidden Mickey. signature in his in his head. It is his hair is an M and his ear looks like a G for Matt Groening. Really? Yep. That's really interesting. Cool. I will make his ear a G now. G for gamer. Nope. G, M for mega, and G for gamer. <laughs> mega gamer! Nope, not right at all. He's just wearing like a, he's wearing a suit, right? Yes. Okay. A principal suit. Principal, a very principal. Hey, wait, am I dressed? Are you dressed like him? Cody, stand up. Give me some reference. Am I dressed? I need you. <laughs> yes. Like Principal Skinner? Like principal Skinner. So Mike, have you ever met the voice actors from The Simpsons? Uh, yeah, actually. I went to a couple of uh, table reads. That's awesome. Which is, you know, they do like a little rough run through the script. You know, all the actors are there. They do their lines and their voices. Really awesome to see. That's so cool. And they're extremely talented. I hear you're quite the voice actor yourself. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin. What's your favorite episode of The Simpsons? So my favorite episode of The Simpsons is called Lisa's Substitute. It's an episode in the second season where Lisa has a very inspiring teacher who ends up going away because he's a substitute teacher. Yeah. But he gives her the sweetest note in the world Aww. and tells her, only look at it when you are starting to doubt yourself. And as he goes away, she opens it up and it says, you are Lisa Simpson. Aww, right? that makes me cry. It's so sweet. I'm gonna cry. Yeah, but then my other favorite episode I'm is the one. I'm actually crying. That's so sweet. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Jackie. That's so cute. Oh my God. You okay? That was so cute. And that was just the synopsis. You I know. Watch I didn't the actually. I didn't episode. actually have watched the episode. You should watch it. Oh my God, you guys look. I'm a mess. It's okay. Sorry, right, look at me. Deep oh, breath, yeah. deep breath. Oh, oh, didn't expect to cry in the Simpsons episode. <laughs> Cody, how'd you do? Dead accurate. I mean, this is basically on model. Yeah. Um, Are you applying to Simpsons right now? I'm probably gonna submit this. Yeah. Brent, uh, how did you do? Do you also think you're gonna get the job? I think I'm gonna shoe in at this point. Mm. Yeah, they're bringing me on tomorrow. That's confident. How do you think you did on this one? I tried drawing a little more of my style, but I think I did pretty good. Got it pretty close to Sexy Flanders. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, I think I, I think I got the feel of him down. How do you think you did, Kevin? I think I did okay. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's everything's just a little bit off. This Homer is part of the off-brand character, character universe, universe shown right here. <laughs> I think I did pretty good, mm -hmm. despite you know I I didn't really grow up watching The Simpsons, mm -hmm. but I think I understand the general look of Homer. Mm -hmm. I think I caught his essence. I don't know if it's accurate. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Let's take a look. Oh wow. Yes. <laughs> Now I feel like I should add a color. No, yours is so beautiful. <laughs> it's like a perfect sketch. Oh, this is appealing. I like this. I would eat those hamburgers. Thank you. Oh my, this is so, it's pretty impressionistic. <laughs> you didn't go for the Simpsons style. This is very much a Cody version of a Simpsons character. I just wanted to feel more nervous, like he was nervous about those steamed hams. Yeah. Because that's all I remember is his anxiety. Yes. You did a pink donut, which yeah. is the iconic Simpsons donut. Yeah, it's because I went to the Universal Studios and they mm -hmm. were selling giant pink donuts. Yeah. And that's like all I could think of. I didn't I didn't put the pink frosting. Yeah. I love his face. <laughs> it's so good. I like the shiny butt. Thank you. Definitely a nice touch. <laughs> I can't remember the helmet, but you gave him one. Yeah, I, I remember there was a helmet. Oh man, okay. See, there's that perfect like rectangle body. I just like, I did this at some point. You can probably see sketches over there somewhere where I just was like, use the line tool to just draw like a straight line down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I got the helmet wrong. No, but you did like, you got so much right. Oh, really hard, but we got the feel. We got that, yeah. we got that pose. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this rear three quarters on Chalmers here. Yeah. <laughs> that bizarre like eye. I, I got that he was bald, the Chalmers guy. Oh yeah. I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, you started drawing Chalmers. I, draw, I drew that in you the last like, two seconds. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for having me. Of course, it was so nice to meet you. I had an awesome time drawing, See. trying to draw. It was awesome. But I hear that Kevin and Jackie are drawing Homer. All right, so I'm gonna go check them out. I'll see you later. <laughs> Roast it out. Are you ready, Kevin? I'm ready. Let's bring in Mike. Yeah, first try. <laughs> Mike, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Hello, Hi, Jackie. Mike. How's it going? So this is uh, Jackie's drawing of Homer. Okay. You are somebody who draws Homer for a living. Yes. How on or off model is Jackie's drawing? It's a beautiful drawing. 
Thank you. Off model. Mm. But I mean, it's really appealing. So if you had to do one or two things to make this a little more on model, what would you do? Uh, well, definitely. So I would. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Picking up You're the getting bed. marked up, He's Jackie. getting in. He's, he's grading me like so, a teacher. Those would be just a little longer. Okay. I can't see what's happening. Definitely have smaller eyes. Smaller eyes. Smaller oh, right. eyes. Nice. One more round. You fixed your ear. Mine. I mean, I like the G in there, though. It's like MG. That. MG for Mega Gamer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, it's been confirmed. Been confirmed on screen. <laughs> Do you want to take a look at mine? Sure. Okay. Mike, come on over on this I'm side. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Don't be scared, Kevin. Okay. All he'll do is say it's awful and draw over it to make it perfect. Wow. This is like Homer Simpson meets George Jetson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is, again, appealing. Oh, because uh, here's the thing about the muzzle. How does it connect to his nose? Because I feel like... So it goes from the bottom line of the nose. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here's a trick about the ear. Mm -hmm. you take the bottom line of the eyeball and it lands right under. Sure. The body structure is a little, he's a wonky. little Yeah, he's like a little too tall. And uh, no anatomy in the arm. Just think of him as tubes. Yeah. With, like they rubber do hoses. Have yeah, they do have rubber hose arms. Yeah. Mm. But I did that at first and it felt weird. You know what, Kevin? Mm. This is why you need to believe in yourself. Jackie, I do believe you in You need to trust your gut, like Homer has a gut. Am I right, Mike? That's right. Well, Mike, thank you for critiquing our Homers. Thank, thank you, you for Mike. Homers. You are full of magic, Thanks. Mike. This is why we can't have guests, Jackie. Is that horrible to say? Is it too late to leave? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get out of here. Right. Yeah. All right. I'll get, I'll leave. I'm yeah. sorry, Mike. Right. I apologize for all that I've done. Hey, I'm Ross Tran from the YouTube channel Ross Draw. Uh, you can follow me on my socials at Ross Draws. Hello, my name is Anthony Jones. Uh, you can follow me at Robot Pencil and all that. Today we're drawing Dragon Ball Z characters from memory. Ha! As far as I know, that's what the show's about. Pretty much. I watched Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid a lot. Yeah. Whenever I teach, all I use is like Dragon Ball oh, Z really? references. Yeah. Can we switch sides now? I want to switch sides. I want to see what it's like over there. This has always been my side. I've known. I have to draw someone else then. Got to get that side. Majin Buu. Oh, oh my god, the bubblegum looking the dude. Chunky dude, right? Vegeta. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Should I try to be subversive and not have him powering up? You give Vegeta whatever attitude speaks to you. I'm gonna have a huffy Vegeta. Today you're drawing Goku. Oh, we wait, have... isn't there like multiple Gokus? Which one are we drawing? I think we're just drawing the base grown up Goku. Three, Majin three. Buu was like one of my favorite arcs in Dragon Ball Z. I think I stepped out of Dragon Ball Z during this age. He's got a very angular body, angular face. Much like my own head. Oh, I got a Vegeta reference right in front of me, it looks like. So you never watched Dragon Ball? I watched some Dragon Ball, but definitely not enough to like, to call myself a fan. Through social osmosis, uh -huh. I know quite a lot about Dragon Ball Z. Okay. I know that they need to collect the Dragon Balls to make their wish come true. Wait, are we sure this isn't Pokemon? No. I have no idea what he wears. Like, what kind he of He has clothes? a cape. All right, cool. So he I'm just going to give him a cape, and then I'm going to give him some muscles. And he has um, um, pants. Does, does he have a shirt on? Ooh, I don't know. All right, mine's shirtless then. We're going for it. Yeah, I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z since college. So mm. this is going to be real interesting. When do you think I went to college, Jackie? 1753. The same age that Lincoln was born. And what's your favorite Dragon Ball Z episode? Oh man, maybe a Dragon Ball Kai episode where they assembled five episodes into one <laughs> and they removed all the panning shots of like lakes and some like grass rustling in a field. <laughs> they have a lot of uh, B-roll in that fictional universe. Dripless. I think it's an antenna. There's a real stereotype around aliens and yeah. creatures from different worlds that they all have antennas. I feel like we need to break that stereotype. I know he's wearing like an orange jumpsuit. Right. With a belt. Form and function over fashion in this show. Remind I mean, why were they fighting all the time? Because they're all fighting over the Dragon Ball. You they're gotta catch them all? You gotta catch them all, unlike other shows that might use that motto. I don't want you to forget about Vegeta's intense widow's peak. Oh! Yes, thank you. That is the key to this character. Vegeta is what introduced me to what a widow's peak was. Yeah, he's really 
He's really got it going. When I was growing up, I watched a lot of Dragon Ball Z. How old were you when you were watching that stuff? I was like six, seven, eight. It was, yes. it was the thing. I think what I loved about Dragon Ball was that it was like, it was kind of like a soap opera for children. A soap opera for children? Does he wear gloves? I feel like he wears some butler gloves. Like white gloves? Yeah. When you're punching so many things, don't you have to protect your hands? That's like boxing gloves. Should I give him boxing gloves? You should give him boxing gloves. Okay. Even though I'm 99% sure he does not have boxing gloves. Oh, he has a thing. I don't know what it says. Doesn't he have a logo on his oh. shirt? I'm just going to draw a circle okay. with the heart in it. Oh. Let me ask, are you putting him in like the pink shirt Bermuda shorts Vegeta? Or are that you was going? the thing I was thinking about. I was like, do I want casual summer vacation Vegeta? Yeah. That's one of my favorite things about Dragon Ball Z episodes is that they would do these random, so, I mean, it's not my favorite. It annoyed the hell out of me as a kid, but it's really funny looking back that it would be like, the planet's at stake. And didn't you wonder how like Yajirobe was getting his driver's license? Like, <laughs> no, nobody wondered about Yajirobe. Like, there's a joke was like, how many Dragon Ball Z characters does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. Only takes one, but takes five episodes to do it. Oh, dude, uh, I was just about to dude. comment on there. There is this whole arc <laughs> with Goku holding up a spear bomb. Yeah. And for like five, yeah, yeah. six, seven episodes. So I remember Dragon Ball Z mostly from the Super Nintendo game. There's a Super Nintendo game? Oh, hell yeah, there is. Was it like a fighting game? Yeah, it's like Street Fighter, but it's mostly just you throwing giant fireballs and energy at each other. That sounds great. Yeah. That's all I want to do in real life. You just want to throw giant fireballs at me? Yeah. Jackie. Why wouldn't you? I thought we were friends. No. I remember he was weirdly small in the show. He's small, but he's also just like really thin and delicate looking. Yeah, I remember I wasn't super intimidated by him when I first saw him because he was standing next to like the big guys. Yeah, that's the whole he had, like, point. The he's supposed bald, to be, big yeah, guy. he's supposed to be like a weak looking prince, but then he's the strongest one. Toriyama was good at that kind of thing. I like that. If I was like in the you know design room and they're like, Anthony, what do you think we should do with this character? First of all, I'd be like, he needs more muscles. Muscles? What? And then they probably would be right fully angry and I'm like, all right, the next step, we need to spread that pink like all over the place. <laughs> Are you gonna make him glow? I have to make him glow? I'm gonna make him glow. Oh boy. Cause okay. when they do the screaming thing. When they scream at each other? They, when they scream at each other, they yeah. glow, don't they? I think so. All right, I will try to make him glow. What's his color scheme? Is he blue and yeah, red? He's like blue and yellow? I, well, yeah, he's like yellow in the version I'm drawing because he's got his like Saiyan armor, but like, is you, it know, you could go pink for Muta shorts, Vegeta. Why? God, I can't, why can't I remember his colors? I was so confident going in. I'm like, oh, I know what he looks like. <laughs> he's just like a big... Just know that on. my design is inspired by your word. So if I am wrong, everybody, I'm not to blame. Whoa. And then if you're wrong on your end, then you, are, you take double blame. When they're like juicing up to become Super Saiyan. Juicing up. When they're That's juicing up. You know yeah. what I mean. You know what I'm talking don't about, Jackie. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking don't about. Don't say Goku is juicing up. Don't like rocks and stuff like float. Oh yeah. Whenever they're juicing up. Stop saying juicing up. No, juicing up, Jackie. Don't leave it. I gave my guy black nipples back. Like, Does he have nipples? I think so. I think so. Oh, dude. Dragon Ball Z matured. Dude, they went with nipples? Nice. Oh, I remember. I think he has a symbol on his forehead, like M for Majin Buu. Hey, Cody. Hey. What does the scanner say about his power level? It's over 9,000! <laughs> Time to color dodge. You ready? Let's do it. <laughs> Bam. Let's All do right, it. Here we go. Color oh, dodge. Oh, snap. Add that lighting in there. Oh, snap. Oh, and now yeah, it's better. It's so People good. I know. It, it, it looks better. Look at all that glow. Look, even the staff is getting out of their seats. They can't I believe know. what's happening. I know. Check <laughs> it out. That is the secret to art? That yes. is the secret to art. Just color dodge everything. That's all you need and you can be Hashtag a Hashtag color dodge. Yeah. I didn't get to draw the glow, Kevin. You didn't get to draw the glow? I didn't get to draw the glow. What happened? I passed out in the middle of the video for some reason. <laughs> I, I didn't notice any of that. Yeah, I, you were really into your drawing. I was drawing. really into my yeah. drawing. No, yeah. it's okay. I'm fine. Okay. I might die in a, uh, in a couple seconds. Okay. How do you think you did? Oh, Jackie, no. I'm gonna call mine. Okay, cool. How do you think you did? I think I captured the essence pretty well. Um, okay, I'm cool. missing a lot of details. I forgot to put sandals on them. <laughs> it's another impressionistic one. I'm here for it. How yeah. did you do? Pretty good, pretty close. Vegeta with some Brent Flair in there. But I feel good about the blue spandex. I feel good about the yellow armor pieces, but there's just little naggy things that feel off that I just can't figure out right now. How do you think you did? I think I did pretty okay. His hair is blonde because he was yelling. Okay. But I think it is black normally. Yes. Yes. I didn't get to draw the glow, so now it just, you know, looks like crap. I'm sure it doesn't look like crap. Looks like crap. Jackie. Throw it in the crap. Settle down. Can I say crap? Sure. Looks like crap. Whoa! Oh, this yeah. is so cool! This is way more 
cute. This is you, oh, you added <laughs> personality to the cake. I should have added cake. Yeah, dude, come on. Uh, this stuff is great. Oh, this is fun. I'm into this. Oh my god, this is really wow. good. Wow. That looks just like him. You gave him elf ears for some like reason. Like him elf ears? Yeah. Isn't that what the kind of ears he has? I don't think so. Really? I think he's a. Is he? Wait. Oh, I'm just now remembering. They're like aliens, right? Oh, go ahead. He looks like a zombie version of Modern Boo. I think so too. But yeah. in, a, in a really good way. No, this is amazing actually. I was expecting you were gonna make your character really adorable. You know what? A good anime face. Really? Yeah. And you know what else I'm gonna say? It looks nothing like Kevin. It does not look like Kevin at all. I like the boxing gloves. Mm -hmm. I think that he should have boxing gloves normally. So Here. his hip flap things also protect his junk. He's just got a That's... full like beetle wings protecting his whole area. So yeah, okay, so I kind of got there was a beetle, that's it, a beetle wing. I kind of got that on his belly, mm -hmm. protecting his abdomen, but you gotta protect the crotch. <laughs> oh my god! We it were, had no M on his forehead! <laughs> we were both Dude, uh, it was on his belt! I blame Ross for the M. You, you didn't give me anything. I was like, he had, he had this, he had that, he had an antenna. <laughs> yeah, we were really off. <laughs> yeah. Are we Dragon Ball Z fans? <laughs> I don't know. Nice. All right, all right, looks nice. good, looks good. The thing about his spiky hair, mm -hmm. I knew it wasn't spiky all the way. I knew there yeah. was like a, th I knew it He's was- He's got like a- Like a thick. Yeah. It's like designed purposefully in a really cool way. It's gotta be hell to animate though, cause it's very specific. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't do it. Me watching this as a kid, I haven't yeah. seen this character for over yeah, two okay. decades, and so the things you do remember as a kid, components of good design. Yeah, I remember yeah. the pink, I remember yes. the M, and it means that the designer probably put that in there for us to remember it. And yeah. so two decades later, we're yeah. on BuzzFeed drawing Majin Buu, <laughs> and it came out in the drawing, so. No, that's a great point, absolutely. I personally didn't grow up with it, but it impacted a whole generation of people. It really did. It's like Pokemon, it's so popular that even I know Majin Buu. And I think Majin Buu is very cute. I don't know who Majin Buu is. Boo! Yeah, Get it? Right. Majin Buu? Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. awful. Hey, I'm Mike Atniel, uh, character animator on The Simpsons. Hey, I'm Kira, lead animator on Good Advice Cupcake. Today we are drawing Justice League characters from memory. From memory. Wow! Justice League? Yeah. I think I love them. Do you know who the Justice League are? You sound very confident. All right, give us the characters, Matt. Today you guys are drawing Flash. <gasps> the Flash was my favorite Seriously? one. Yeah. Wow. Your yes. character today is Wonder Woman. I feel like that's manageable. I'm trying to picture in my head Superman. Okay. <laughs> I, it's like the worst one, I would say. <laughs> Who is your favorite Justice League character? Uh, probably Batman. Batman is too angsty, mm -hmm. and Superman is too serious. And he's a real bitch. But the Flash is just right. I like bumbling buff idiots. You really do. Yeah, I like the dumb ones. That's your type? I had no idea that you were a Flash fan. I really thought that you were gonna be like, what? What do you know about the Flash, huh? I know that his superpower is super speed. Mm -hmm. I know that his name is Barry Allen. Yeah. S Superman is a man that is super, very powerful, laser eyes, x-ray vision. There isn't a thing that he can't do. I know vague generalities yeah. about DC characters, but I don't, you know, I don't know much. I remember I read one of the Flash comics and I was surprised to learn he doesn't only go fast, but he also can learn fast. That's cool, I guess. Isn't that wild and wacky? Stop saying wild and wacky. Isn't that wild and wacky with Barry Allen? And I Jackie? I turned off my Cintiq. <laughs> you turned off your Cintiq? How do I turn it back on? Superheroes are hard to draw. So what do you usually start with when you draw? I'll usually try to start with the line of action, which kind of acts as like the character spine for the pose. It's like a guideline for how the pose will lay. Mine's different every single time. Yeah. I'll start with the body one day. I'll start with the head one day. I even started with a hand one time. <laughs> That's a good That's challenge. <laughs> I love drawing hands. People are such a weak <laughs> They're always like, I hate drawing hands. Shut up. <laughs> They're fun. The button's up here. Yeah. It's up here, it's over here on your side. What did I do? 
I always draw like 16 fingers on one hand and people are like, uh, did you notice? Did you notice there's 16 fingers on the hand instead of five? I'm like, why would I draw 16 fingers on accident? Are you crazy? <laughs> I like how they ask you that question as if you like, like closed your eyes yeah, no, and like, drew hands. You're like, whoops. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Listen. Fix it. Do fix it, 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 fix it. Jackie. Fix it. Oh, I fixed it. That oh, was close. Ooh. It's a good thing I was, I thought quick on the fly like Flash. What? You know what? I don't like this. I don't like what I'm drawing. You're restarting? I'm restarting. I'm gonna draw a cute flash. Okay. I'm sorry. This All is right. just how it has, has to be. I got the pose. Mm -hmm. Now I just gotta do the details, and I don't know the details I, of his suit. I know that, you know, you can't really see his eyes, right? Right. He's got kind of a Batman mask. Yeah, Batman mask. Yeah. He, has, he has the thing where his eye mask moves with his emotions. Right, which is weird. That doesn't happen in your life. No. Her style of dress is kind of, I think it's like, mm, sort of like a gladiator, kind of, yeah. a little bit. I, I know he's got tiny, squinty, tiny, tiny, tiny eyes, big angular jaw, curly hair. I just know that it's red, yeah. but there's nothing else in my head right now. Yeah. I know that he has the, you know, headphone things. I got that. Yeah. Does he have a belt? Like a waistband, Ooh. maybe? Oh man, what are her shoes look she like? She doesn't have a shield, does he? I don't think so. She has like her, her gauntlets, right? Right. Oh, and a rope. And the rope. Okay. I did watch the live action 90s Flash show. Oh, how did that work out? It was actually not bad for oh. the first season and then it got terrible. Oh, okay. But that Flash, for some reason, mm -hmm. I know that he has a belt with okay. the Flash symbol on it. What is the rope called again? That's the name. lasso of truth. That's it. <laughs> Does he have a a flash, like a, a lightning symbol on his I think uh, so. on his chest? I think he does because yeah. they sell flash shirts. Oh, right. How, how are you doing, Joni? I am having a hard time. However, I like what's happening to mine. Yeah? It's not that great, but it's like, there should be low expectations for me is all I'm saying. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. Do you have a favorite comic book hero movie? Really like Deadpool. Deadpool? Yeah. I feel like the th maybe the reason why I hate Superman and like Batman and all these people is because like I would be one of the villains. Mm. Like I feel like I really like fit into that category and how I act generally. Uh, villains are anti-establishment. True. Yeah. And I'm always like tweeting about how I hate Amazon. Yeah. It's the same. It is the, <laughs> the Joker burning things down and me tweeting about how I hate Amazon are like the same thing. That's disconcerting. Okay, I gave him way too much crotch. How you doing over there? I think I'm doing okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm tr struggling to remember this costume. I honestly don't remember anything about the costume. I'm kind of <laughs> winging it. And I think there's a W on her tiara. Yeah, you're right. I feel like she has a sword too. I have no idea what that looks like though. All right, my flash is looking cute. There's a lot of flashes, so who can really say this is accurate to? My drawing kind of looks like if a supervillain was trying to draw Superman, like trying to make fun of him, kind of. <laughs> I think I'm just, <laughs> I think I'm just straight up a villain from <laughs> DC. But I, I love this idea of method drawing. You embody the character. <laughs> I decided not to commit to color, so I'm just gonna add like tones. Sometimes color just like makes or breaks it. Yeah. Are the colors switched? Maybe they're switched, you know? I don't really know what his symbols colors are, uh, but I'm gonna go with white and yellow. Yeah, seems yellow. seems correct. That's He's kind of looking choice. more like a McDonald's character right now than a than a Justice League character. I apologize to Barry Allen and his son Wally West. Oh wait, is his son? No, I don't think so. All right, I think I'm done here. I think I'm done. Okay. Okay. I drew a handsome man because apparently, even if you're from space, you, you're just handsome. <laughs> Okay, now I need to do like a speed effect real quick. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm done. I'm gonna take the whole thing. I'm gonna pretend like I'm, I'm gonna drawing. I'm gonna duplicate it. I am going to do a directional blur. Hey, remember the thing you can do to make it look like your pencil is wobbly? <laughs> we get it, Jackie. You finished before I did. I'm trying to entertain them. Done. You done, Kevin? Done with my flash. Finished it in a flash. So Mike, how do you think you did? I wasn't sure about her costume. I don't know if it's a two piece, if it's a one piece, how about you? I feel like I I remembered some of the stuff about like the central costume, mm -hmm. but uh, colors, it looks like a Halloween store, <laughs> like discount costume. 
Hey June, how'd you do? I did okay. I, I did Superman um, in transition uh, from the mild-mannered man becoming Superman. Mine is very plain. Mm. I am gonna warn you though, there's a lot of crotch coming crotch your way. Crotch again, bringing up the crotch. There's a lot of crotch coming your way, groin. so you're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm just gonna deal with Flash's groin. Flash's his, crotch. His costume is so simple that there's no way to mask his groin. I mean, there is, but you know, Kevin, I'm just gonna let it slide this time okay. because I don't wanna hear you say crotch again. I'm just letting you know, a lot of crotch. All right, let's switch. Oh, wow. This looks so good. This oh my awesome. gosh, you made it look incredible. You actually added full color. This looks like a finished, awesome drawing. Yours looks I love sick. the style. Yours has such a great pose. Like it's like that Fibonacci spiral or whatever. <laughs> it's like <laughs> pleasing to look at. Yes. Aw. This is, yes. <laughs> I love the Superman. You drew him so cute. <laughs> you too. I love it. I think that like, you just like kind of drew him. You know? <laughs> you really overplayed the crotch. The really? way you described it, uh -huh. I was thinking you gave him like a basketball <laughs> in there. It's really not that bad. Very spiky lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think I put too many spikes on it. I think it's going the wrong way. I think you got it the right way. I don't, I, you never know. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, you got it. Oh, she's just wearing like a bathing suit. Yeah, I guess I was remembering the movie too much. Yeah. I don't know why, but for some reason we thought she had a W on her tiara. <laughs> I forgot the stars. Oh yeah, the stars. She's really you said patriotic. patriotic too, and I completely forgot She's about that. She's more patriotic than I thought. There he is. Yeah, you literally just drew him. Like when I said that earlier, like I meant it. It was like, he literally just did it. Joni captured the inner essence of Superman because there's a cost of being super at all, at all, at all times. There's a cost. What? Wow. No. Yep. No, yep. no, this isn't the Flash, I know. Wow, he's got full on yellow boots, which yeah. neither of us got. You know what? It's not fair to judge our Flash off of one Flash drawing because there's, there's so many, many variations. There's many Flashes. So many costume changes he goes through. This is true. Maybe this is casual day Flash. It's hard to get those little details, yeah. but the broad idea, I, th I, think we, I think we got it. Got close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Flash is a cool guy. Flash is a cool guy, he's a chill guy. Uh. Cool superpower. I wish I was fast. So do I. Yeah, I'm real slow. I'm real slow when it comes to drawing. I'm real slow when it comes to thinking. Am I right, ladies? Two brain cells, hands up. That's millennial talk for you. What does that mean? Hi, I'm Heejun. And I'm Joni. And today we're gonna be drawing. My neck hurts. That's not what we're drawing. Today we're going to draw Marvel superheroes <laughs> from memory. Didn't we already do that? We did DC. I don't know. We did Justice League. Whatever. Get your universe is straight. Whatever. They're all the same guy. <laughs> this is right up your wheelhouse. I hope so. I'm like, oh, man. please do not mess this one up. Because I've read so yeah. many Marvel comics. Well, let me tell you. I'm going to be making up a lot of stuff on this one. <laughs> but first, uh, be sure to stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can enter for a chance to win this Wacom Intuos tablet, courtesy of our good friends at Wacom. I'm not wearing shoes. Not relevant. You guys are drawing Spider-Man. <gasps> That's the best one. He's the best one. I do love Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Verse is the best movie ever created. It's really good. Miles, best Spider-Man. Love Gwen Stefani. It's not, uh, it's not Gwen. Love it's Peter Gwen Parker. Stefani. Peter B. Parker. It's not Gwen Peter Stefani. C. Parker. It's not Gwen Stefani. Peter D. It's Parker. Gwen Stacy. Peter Get F. It right. Parker. Worry. Oh, okay, oh, that's easy. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Mm. I only let's can see. think of his head thing. Oh yeah, the head thing that goes up like that, yeah. All right, let's see. Don't mess this up, Jason. Don't mess this up. Uh, what do you think I'm telling myself? <laughs> Captain Marvel. Oh God. Captain Marvel, hip, cool. I don't know who this is, like actually, so I'm just gonna, try, I'll oh, try. Man, okay. It, Need it's to... like a person, that's all I know. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try my best to do a dynamic spider pose. Me too. Oh my God, Let's can you give it. us three hours? <laughs> In the comics, he was made to be like short and muscular. Oh, he's short? In the, yeah, so which was weird why they chose Hugh Jackman to play him because he's supposed to be like five feet tall or something like that. Oh, okay. And Hugh Jackman's like, what, 6'4? Is he, oh, is he really? Yeah, Hugh Jackman's like really tall. If you're showing any skin, he's very hairy. Yes, I remember that. He's got 
the hairiest like arms. The shape of stars are integ integrated into the costume. I think there's a, a star on the belt buckle. It feels like you're trying to like help me remember, but the yeah. thing is, I don't well, know who this he, is. Here, um, I'm sending you an image of a li lady. A lady with blonde hair. Okay. Oh, and, yeah. I, See, it worked. I have it. It I worked. Have it. Back in the '90s, Spider-Man was having a renaissance mm. with a comic book artist by the name of Todd McFarlane uh, because he came along and drew Spider-Man in a way that no one else had before. In and what different ways can you draw Spider-Man? Well, he did what was called spaghetti webs, where Spider-Man's webs didn't look like webs; they looked like strands of spaghetti, like kind of like wrapped around each other oh. and everything. Like Oh, that's what they look like now, kind of. Yeah, so he was kind of a pioneer in terms of that. He also made the eyes on the mask bigger than they've ever been. And he also was the character designer for Venom. If your favorite superhero is Venom, you're either a really edgy 13-year-old boy or a 25-year-old woman that just got out of a long relationship. <laughs> Another thing in the 90s, everyone had shoulder pads. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone had like, shoulder pads. Yeah, was, were they pointy? They weren't like pointy. They kind of went up like this. Like they just kind of went out and went in like that. Okay, good. Yeah. I did not draw that. I think for this suit I'm drawing, his arms were sleeveless and okay. then he had the gloves. I appreciate the less clothing I have to draw, the better. Okay, I'm assuming she has boots. Yes, um, I think I think those are correct assumptions. But also, I don't know the character very well. So I'm just going to probably say yes to most of the things she said. Okay. I think <sighs> she has a Oh, she has I'm, a cape? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, Marvel fans. Who was your favorite Spider-Man from Spider-Verse? Miles. He was well-written. You know, he went from, like, not really being sure of himself. But then he met Gwen Stefani. And then he met Gwen Stefani, and she said, Woo-hoo! Yeah <laughs> I'm gonna add a bunch of unnecessary details to this drawing. I want to add a helmet, but I'm afraid it's gonna make her, like, cyclops. I like, that, that sentence doesn't make sense to me. Like, I don't <laughs> have context for it. Like, I know I keep saying it, just that it's true, you know? My favorite Spider-Man from Spider-Verse was Peter B. Parker. Do you want to know why? Is it because you're old? No, it's because he was a nod to the Spider-Man that I grew up with. A lot of the jokes in the beginning when he's like retelling his story and everything mm -hmm. like that, those were all jokes about the continuity of the Spider-Man that I grew up with. It's pretty cool. You have no idea what I just said. Yeah, I was looking at my drawing. Okay. Okay, so what is this basic costume? It's really simple. Sometimes people draw claw marks on his torso. Oh, okay. Like he's cut himself? Or like he will cut you, I guess. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, his, his design has kind of stayed very similar over the years. You give him like the superhero underpants. I know he probably doesn't have it. He doesn't. Well, you know what? That's how I imagine him. What I'm slowly realizing is that it appears that I've drawn I've drawn one of the Hanson brothers. <laughs> is what I'm really like slowly realizing. I mean, I, I'm sure there is a crossover. I'm sure of the of, of the fan fandoms. And he's just yellow and black, right? Yellow and black, or yellow and blue, or yellow and brown. I got it. I got this. Yellow has always been a mainstay in his costume. Like I know, like maybe vaguely visually, what some of them look like, like the Avengers, maybe like just from seeing posters or something. I just like don't watch any of them. It's actually kind of impressive how, how is it the, impressive how, how into dark you are but it's like you have to spend money to go see them like it means i'm just like say, not you know that means you're being financially responsible yeah if I'm i like just excited. can't think of anything he's got he's got skin there i'm taking this hairy body thing and i'm running with it i'm excited to see what you're gonna do i think you'll be surprised <laughs> oh my god i just realized i did not draw his other hand Ooh. Yeah, I'm just gonna beef this hand. Huh, you're gonna beef it! Yeah, I'm just gonna beef this hand. I knew it. I <laughs> knew that would catch on. You know what? He's gonna be like flicking you off with his claws. <laughs> Perfect. Because he's got two, do you know? He's got three. I, oh, two. He's got attitude. Oh, two. I thought you said two. I don't I think like... any. You know what? Maybe I'm an innovator. I don't know if anyone's ever flicked someone off with his claws before. Well, he does. He does the thing where he puts up just the middle one. Oh, okay. I did yeah. it weird. I did it the other two are bending down. <laughs> At first, they didn't want to make Spider-Man because they were like, oh, nobody likes spiders. Yep. Like, this is going to be gross. That no was Stan Lee's story behind it. And he was like, I'll show them. I'll make him the most popular superhero in the world. Yeah, for some reason, he's been old his whole life. <laughs> in this scenario, he's mm -hmm. already like oh, yeah. 90. 
Jason, how you doing? I'm like struggling to finish. Up? We're having a little home stretch, man. I'm like struggling to finish and to like save my reputation as someone who likes uh, who likes the comic book like thing. The comic. I know this is this is your round to lose, Jason. Oh my god, Just it's totally no pressure, is. but uh, like if I screwed up a SpongeBob meme, that would be my devastation. I, I actually really like my drawing. I did like I'm pretty proud of it. It's yeah. Just that like it's probably not what it, the character is at all, but like I like it. I like the drawing, and that's what's most important. <sighs> What's most important is loving yourself. It's true. How do you think you did, Brent? Oh, man. <laughs> You're gonna be real impressed. Uh, no, I did <laughs> god awful. Jason, how do you think you did, buddy? This is 100% Wolverine. How do you feel about the drawing you did? I love it. I'm really proud of it. I'm, I'm it's very not excited. anything like what you want it to be, though. It's a it's an art piece that I'm gonna sell for a million dollars. Look for it on Etsy. Yeah. How do you think you did? It looks okay. You yeah. Know? It doesn't look polished. Doesn't even really look right. But it does look like Spider-Man. How do you think you did? I think I did okay. Wow. I did my best low-budget Todd McFarlane style. Todd McFarlane style. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. He would be very he upset be if he very saw this. Upset if he saw this. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but uh, it's definitely Spider-Man. It's definitely Spider-Man. Stop Spider doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, All right. right. Switcheroo. Switcheroo. Buckaroo. I was gonna say curse words. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. That's cute. That is amazing. <laughs> I like yours. I like yours too. Thanks. And you also, you, you also drew me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I didn't. I, I, I'm, I wasn't that thoughtful. I'm so sorry. Well, can I draw me in here? Yeah. Sure. You okay. Can. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jason, you always surprise me. I feel like it's when you're the most hard on yourself that you come at me with these like really accurate drawings. <laughs> Whoa. That looks, yeah, you got the costume way more correct than me, I think. You know what I think I did, but your pose is super dynamic and super fun. Thanks. And I love the speed lines. Thank you. Uh, and you kind of did the spaghetti style webs. Yeah, I, that's, I like those. Yeah. They go like this. Flip. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, you did pretty good. Oh. Well, yours looks like similar. Uh, like okay, so it's, a, it's a full <laughs> body suit, actually. See, I, I knew she had a mask on, but and then her hair comes out of it. I like this character design of this of this woman. It's very appealing, appealing designs. I, I forgot that she has two belts, like a cool person. Cool. Yep. Oh, this oh, is blue. blue in this one. I knew he was blue. I should have did him blue. Okay, actually, uh -huh. the the head thing not so off. you I mean, you got the shape. Yeah. Sort of the shape. And his, you got these like specific claw marks on his on his torso. Yeah, it's like a. Some like little black claws or kind so of. So this is from the cartoon. I should have. I should have remembered that. Oh, and he's got the underwear. He. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot. I. I. I led you astray with that. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I led you I, astray. I'm feeling better and better about this. Yeah. One. <laughs> Okay, so I also screwed up the blue. Yeah, but you got closer. I got closer, but yeah. I forgot that he has blue on his sides, his stuff. abdomen. Well, yeah. like there's a, a bunch of Spider-Mans again. Like, mm -hmm. Which one are we remembering? The classic. I mean, but even the classics have classics. Spider-Man's been around for a long time. This is true, but this is the original costume. Is it really? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know, spiders existed before Spider-Man. And spiders aren't red or blue traditionally, um, as far as I know, anyway. All right, giveaway time. If you want to enter for a chance to win this Wacom Intuos S tablet, all you have to do is go to BuzzFeed Comics on Instagram. That's at comics on Instagram. Find this post and follow the instructions in the description. Best of luck. If you're Post Malone, do not enter this giveaway. What? Why? What do you have against Post Malone? I don't know, I'm, Post Malone can buy his own. Hey, I'm Ross Tran from the YouTube channel Ross Jaws. You can see my art at Ross Jaws. Hi, my name is Anthony Jones and you can follow me at Robot Pencil. And today we're gonna be drawing Nintendo! Characters from memory. I mean, I grew up with Nintendo as like my first like video game series. You know, I think yeah. my first game that I played was probably Ocarina of Time. Like that's, I remember my dad playing it first and then I started oh. to play it. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo was like my first exposure to video games. Like, yeah, I feel like now everybody just jumps online. But... I'm excited. Are you I'm, excited? I love Nintendo. I'm a Nintendo fan girl. Nice. I grew up on Nintendo games. I still play Nintendo games. If you don't have a Nintendo Switch, that's totally fine. I respect your opinion. Wow, you know, not everyone can afford that was about to go real south real soon. Mm -hmm. But I, Nintendo games are great, and if you have the excess funds to purchase one, I highly recommend it. I don't have a Switch. You're different. I hate you already.
Be sure to stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can enter for a chance to win this Wacom Intuos S tablet, courtesy of our friends at Wacom. Kevin made me sign it. Everyone's gonna sign it. But Kevin made me sign it I didn't first. make you do anything. You guys are drawing Yoshi. Yoshi! <laughs> are you just gonna do voices this entire episode? Wow! <laughs> It's me, Mario. Who's that? He's my friend, Yoshi. Oh, that's Pikachu. <sighs> just, that's a really good one. Just draw, Jackie. <laughs> Samus. Oh! No, that's not too bad. Yes! That's awesome. Dude, it's right up your alley. And it's I a girl. Draw, I draw robots. We both have something in it. I know the general colors. We got like red and gold over there. Right, too. Green helmet. Is it a green helmet, really? I'm pretty sure. Because I've drawn Samus, hold on, hold on, listen. I've drawn Samus two times in the past year. So I, I, but what I version remember the green helmet. At, we're we're Wait, talking about on. OG. Wario. Oh my God, <laughs> we got one like the hardest one. Okay, <laughs> so evil Mario. Evil Mario. I have a friend named Jackie who loves Yoshi. It's not me. I promise, it's not like a joke. Jackie Files, if you're out there, this one's for you. Did you ever play any of the like WarioWare games? Or I love like WarioWare. Yeah. yeah, it's so much fun. No, Wario's a really good character. Him and Waluigi, mm -hmm. I love them. But yeah, I don't think I've ever drawn them before. So Yoshi is a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. He comes from like a dinosaur egg. He comes from Yoshi's Island. Dinosaur Island. Jurassic Park. Welcome to Yoshi's Island. <laughs> Samus is one of my favorite characters. Though. Really? I think it's because she was like one of the very first like female characters, like that twist at the end. And this one character that's going through this crazy dungeon, fighting all these aliens, and it comes to find out it's a female protagonist, which is cool. My Yoshi is starting to look like a horse. What? Yeah. A horse? Yeah. I'm How? trying to make him that's look like impressive. a dinosaur. How did you do that? Well, because like he's he has to have like a, a dip in his back for Mario to sit on, right? He doesn't have to look like a horse. Yeah, um, so this is a technique that I do to look at the drawing from another fresh perspective. I do this a lot in my professional work. It's just to kind of see all the mistakes that I normally don't see. It's like looking into a mirror um, or reflecting yourself and seeing like a different kind of uh, perception. So I'm changing my perception a lot when I flip my canvas to get a fresh take on uh, what I'm doing. Steph, what's your favorite Nintendo game? Such a big question. I love the Zelda series overall, and I think I always kind of go back and forth between what my favorites are, but it almost always lands on Wind Waker. I think it's like aesthetically a really gorgeous game. It's beautiful. Yeah. What is your favorite? I love Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is <laughs> it's great. So good. You know, I'm really good at doing Toad. Okay, give me some of your Toad. <laughs> right? Give me your best Wario. <laughs> How do you think you're doing so far? Definitely not on model. <laughs> I feel like it, it's essence of Wario more than it is Wario. Which, Whispers of Wario. <laughs> yeah. This isn't too far from what I actually do. Like I worked on a, a cinematic called, or it was for StarCraft. Yeah. StarCraft uh, Legacy of the Void cinematic. A lot of the characters there were designed by me. But oh, it was cool. essentially like this, like like here's a character design of yeah. our game, but we just want to like level it up a little bit, yeah. you know, or just like modernize it. And that's kind of like what I'm trying to do with this Samus character. I'm trying to make it feel like- A redesign. If, yeah, if I could, <laughs> that's, that's what I do. Bro. Like, I want to make this Yoshi cute, but he looks dumb and I don't know how to fix it. Oh, I have no idea how to fix mine. I'm going to beef it. I'm going to beef it on purpose. <laughs> You're gonna what? I'm gonna beef it on purpose. What does beef it mean, Jackie? Because I have a definition of what beef it means. You don't know what beef it means? I it mean, just means you made a mistake. Right. Also, when I was growing up, though, beef it meant to fart. Let's beef it with Kevin's definition. <laughs> <laughs> I farted. Like I like Ross a lot because his channel is very popular and his his whole energy is just like art is fun. Art is something that we can do for a living, and I think that's really powerful. And that's why I like this too, because I can I know there's gonna be some kid out there watching us draw, watching all the other people draw, and being like, wait, what? I can do this? Make a living? I feel the bromance. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for the love. He doesn't have ears. He's a dinosaur, right? Oh wait, he doesn't have ears? I don't think so. I gave him ears. I don't think he has ears, bro. I'm gonna give him ears. No, come on. 
I'm sticking with the ears. You get, what kind of ears did you even give him? Like, I mean, I guess they're kind of cat-like. Oh, Jackie, I this don't, is going I don't, wrong. Oh, oh, Kevin, I'm beefing it. Stop saying beefing. It, it. smells so bad. <laughs> It smells so bad, guys. I'm beefing. <laughs> I'm beefing. I, I'm starting to question this green helmet stuff now. Hold on. I figured it out. It's it's the this part. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, there that, you go. That I can see. Yeah. Oh, no, that's You see? Definitely... You see it now? Yeah, I know, no. Does he have bangs? <laughs> Does he have bangs? I don't know. It's like... Like Mario kind of has big. Just a little bit of tough to hair. Uh, yes. I don't know. I think his hat covers most of it. Okay. Well, he has bangs now. <laughs> he has a saddle, right? I think he has a shell. Oh no. Really? What does Mario sit on? The shell part. I don't think he. Why? Are you drawing a horse? I think I'm drawing a horse, Jackie. I think you're not. I think you're thinking of a green horse. <laughs> I think I'm thinking of a green horse. Have you read the fan theories that like all the Mario games are an elaborate stage play? No. Yeah, there's just kind of this theory that all the games that you play are are just performances by all the characters, and so that's why sometimes they're all playing and being friends, and sometimes they're all arch enemies. Oh, and, that's cute. And uh, that's wholesome. Yeah. Do anyway, color dodge. Uh, Wait, hold go. on. What time is it? Color dodge. It's color dodge time. Let's do it. I don't have the energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Man, I'm like color dodging brush. everywhere right now. <laughs> you just, you already got so sweet. It tastes so good. The color dodge. You're having the time of your life with her. I'm jealous. Oh, I, I can put some I, lens I flare now. This is way better than the other one, I think. Steph, how do you think you did? I feel like he's a little too Mario. Like I wasn't able to pull him into the Wario realm. How did your Wario turn out? turned out better than I thought he was going to. Um, yeah, I think he could be grosser. Um, how well did you think he did? I think I did great. Yeah? Yeah, I, I don't think that I got the details right. I'm almost okay. certain, I but how about yourself? If someone were to pass by this, uh -huh. oh, it's just a version of Samus. Yes. For sure, yeah. How do you think he did? Not correct. Me neither. Not, I don't, it's not correct. We beefed it. We beefed it. It is so smelly in here. There is so much rank air. Yeah. I'm basically breathing another person's bowels. I think we should just switch. We got a Nintendo Switch. Whoa! Oh, oh, I hate you so much. You're so good. <laughs> yeah, you, you made your, your Samus super round. Oh, this is so much better. <laughs> no, it isn't. You got oh, his wow. mustache. You like got him though. I, you like got his his being. Thank you. I forgot his ears are pointed. Dude, you got like that the nose <laughs> and the mustache. Also, we like remembered the outfit pretty similar. Like. We did, yeah. We remember yeah. that pocket, which I hope he has. Watch, well, he's not gonna have it. <laughs> You're definitely a lot closer than me. Why did you give him? It felt right when I was working on the sketch, and you're right, now that it's done, we're all geniuses in hindsight, Jackie. I don't understand. <laughs> also, you gave him cowboy boots, so... Well, does it look as wrong as giving Yoshi completely new limbs? Maybe Yoshi has lots of different shoes. Well, he doesn't have cowboy boots, I know that. Just give us the... Yeah, just give us just, the drawing. Just give us the drawing. <laughs> oh, oh snap. Dude, shoulders. you got so much closer than me. Oh my God. The gold shoulders. It's it's the green cannon. The cannon, hey, yeah, the cannon is a different color. This is I true. helped you with that green helmet. No, this I think is this like is... copy for copy. You cheated. <laughs> There's so much more I, I think I could have done. I still had a lot of fun. I, yeah. I think... I'm inspired by looking at this. I'm like, oh, man, damn, I'm inspired that. by my friend. Oh. That's amazing. Here's why I gave him ears, because his eyes going up like that made me think ears. Wrong. Yeah, it got switched in my brain. I will say, Kevin, body's pretty good. Really? I think my body is like the thing that makes him look like a horse. What's with those shoes? I've no, what? <laughs> why did we remember like brown shoes? We got pretty close to him. We, we got something. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we're Wario Jason. No pocket! No pocket! Ah! Oh, Mandela effect again! <laughs> Bring out the Smash Brothers version. I'm sure there's pockets. You know what? Nintendo, I love your games. And I love you. And I'll keep playing your games until I die. Even after the horrible experience that we just went through, I will still pre order all your games. Send me a Switch. Send Kevin a Switch. Send me a Switch. Send Nintendo. Kevin a Switch. All right, giveaway time. So if you want to enter for a chance to win this Wacom Intuos tablet, all you have to do is go to BuzzFeed Comics on Instagram. That's at comics on Instagram. Look for this post and follow the instructions in the description. Best of luck to you. 
best of luck to you. That's creepy. No, it's lovely, and I get lovelier every day.